So, I just got out of the movie Mother. I'm here with uh, a few other lovely filmmakers and producers, and uh, we saw Mother. It was the 9 o'clock showing. This is the new film from Darren Aronofsky <laughs> with Jennifer Lawrence. Are you going that way? All right, we're going to the CBC thing. There's only one thing I can really say about this movie, and it's... Wow? I guess? He has pictures of you in his luggage. Feeling a little bit uneasy after watching it on a Sunday morning. Yeah. I mean, Darren Aronofsky, he's like a visionary filmmaker. He, his films are beautiful, technically perfect. Very, very, very striking imagery. If you want to see something like Rec Room for a Dream again, this is something you should watch. Um, I'm not talking about the same subject matter at all. The performances were amazing, especially Michelle Pfeiffer was, was great in the movie. Like, I, I still can't unpack it, and I, once you see it, I think, I think you'll that understand. The trailer is just very different from, from what you're expecting to watch. Yeah, yeah. You, you tumble down a rabbit yeah. hole that just keeps tumbling yeah. and keeps tumbling, and the way that works, it's, it's absolutely masterful. I mean, the, there's so much stuff that gets thrown at you in this movie. Um, uh, is one of them? Oh, that was Would a spoiler. That? That's a spoiler. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut that out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat that out. If you're uneasy with like scary movies or sort of movies that are psychologically would, difficult, don't go see this movie. Would you, would you say it's a horror film though? I would say... I don't think I could classify it as a horror movie. It, it, I wouldn't know if you could classify it as a horror movie, but it definitely has like horrific images. Yeah. And it's not just sour grapes because I auditioned for this movie and didn't get a part. But uh... I know, I still <laughs> can't believe you had the chance to audition. You would have been that guy. And I'm uh, not going to say what guy because then I'm going to... I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, but they were amazing, amazing performances. Yeah, all right. Never enough. There's interesting stuff at the Glen Gould today, so uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, what a weird movie. Boys! Trust you brought your checkbooks. All right, so I haven't been vlogging a lot today, but uh, I did get to see some other films and some more conferences. So I saw The Currency War, which stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Tom Holland, Nicholas Holt, and Michael Shannon. Um, and it's about the war between George Westinghouse, Thomas Edison, and Nikola Tesla for the current war between AC and DC current. I'm really interested in the history of that, and I'm a huge, I guess, Tesla nerd. But, uh, I don't know, I felt like it was a little bit unfocused, I think. Didn't know who was the antagonist, who was the protagonist. I mean, I guess it's more like real life, but in the end, I was sort of left cold um, throughout the movie. I mean, there were some good performances, and it looked good, but, you know, even some of the history, I felt like they sort of glossed over some bits. If you're a huge fan of the stuff, uh, check it out, but I think maybe that's a good wait for Netflix sort of movie. Sorry, Mr. Weinstein, I know that's your movie. Well, I'll try and only put a little bit of that trailer in because last year the Weinstein company decided to copyright infringe me on one of the YouTube videos, even though it was a review. Then I went to a couple conferences, went to the Larry Wilmore conference. Um, he was funny and interesting, and I wasn't so jazzed to see him because I only really know him from the nightly show, but um, he was funny and interesting and uh, had a lot of cool stuff to say and really sort of inspiring for uh, filmmakers and performers alike, so that was great. Now I'm going to see a movie called Woman Walks Ahead with Jessica Chastain, this is the gala, so I'm in the Roy Thompson Theater. Um, the first film in the Roy Thompson right now, it is huge by the way, and I'm right at the top, you can see people behind, but uh, tons of people below. I have no idea what this movie's about. I'll tell you after and maybe do a review. On to the movie. I'm here with Rachel, and we just got out of uh, Woman Walks Ahead. 
to film with uh, Jessica Chastain, Sam Rockwell. Michael Gray Eyes. Michael Gray Eyes. It's the first time I've ever seen him in a movie, actually. He was fantastic. Yeah, he was great. He was the best part of the movie by far, he was, I think. Absolutely, yeah. Um, this is a story about Sitting Bull, the great native chief, essentially, of the Sioux people in uh, Lakota. Watch the movie. Jessica Chastain came out. She's very pretty. Everybody was very pretty. She's very pretty. I kind of felt like this movie felt really flat. What do you, do you think, Rachel? I feel it had a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. um, but there, and there were a lot, I think there were good moments. There were definitely some good moments, but yeah. then something would happen that would kind of take you out of those moments and make it feel like insincere or just like less important than it should be. Yeah. Because there was a lot of important things that, it, I felt like it should have been a little more serious and then, you know, the score would come on with the twangy country thing and it would just sort of take you out of it and then you would be like, well, I was so there and then now I'm not anymore. There's like an emotional sort of thickness coming yeah. and then there's like a, a, a little machete which is like a guitar music and it just like cuts it down and then just like, oh, well, yeah, maybe this isn't so, it seems like kind of like a TV movie. Kind of seems like an episode of Medicine, uh, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. I mean, and that's sad because, like, um, uh, it's it's just I really to be good. totally. I really was, it had good moments. Totally, it had and good moments. it was centered on the relationship between Jessica Chastain's character, who I guess I I, I don't know what the it's based on. You said it was based on a book. Um, I think so, maybe. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, to, I'll check that, and no it's like, it'll be like probably it's not. Um, but who knows? It was just centered on the relationship between Sitting Bull and Jessica Chastain's character. This is a prelude to a terrible tragedy in American history. Mm, yeah. And they give facts. About they give facts and and history, and, and, and history at the end. After that moment. Which um, I think, uh, if they were trying to go for the very serious, the very serious yeah. thing, that would have been something that made it its way in the, into the movie. Yeah. And it seems like it's it, it really never went for the. Like, it never really it went had, for the jugular, yeah, like, emotionally. Very, yeah, it had very, like, light-hearted moments. And yeah. there was some comedy in it that was all kind of, you know, little cute moments here and there. But, yeah, um, and there were, and there were le legitimate cute moments that totally worked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like the really horse. Like the I horse. like the horse Rico. Rico, Rico was great. Was so cute. Yeah. I like but, animals in film. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> not a recommendation on this one, I'm afraid. I'm, for me, at least. Yeah. Gotta go to bed. Yeah, bye. Sleepy time. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow, Rachel. Maybe we shall see you on the vlog. Maybe. Who knows?